My name is Emet Chitalfondo. Uh, the name of my company is Explore Greater Concerns. We are based in Ogun State. Uh, we are into uh, production of uh, food packages as we, we package foods like like beans flour, dried oyster mu mushrooms, uh, iru and so on and so forth. Those are the things we do. Well, I think it's a positive experience for me. Um, I see a uh, huge potential for my product, especially beyond the shores, uh, beyond the shores of this country. Um, you know, the truth, the truth is that selling outside the shores of this country and earning your income in dollars makes much better sense than selling within, uh, especially as we are living uh, in the present era of devaluation of our currency. Uh, it makes much better sense to sell abroad and earn much more. Um, running through the Amazon, uh, I think the Amazon calculator and seeing the kind of prices that are out there one can earn from. Honestly, you, you see a situation where you can, where you maybe your earnings is like the ROI on your investment is around maybe 50% uh, and 100%. Meanwhile, you sell the same product here in Nigeria and you're earning like maybe 5, uh, 10%, 15% or 20%. So uh, I think it's... Um, it's a no-brainer. It makes good sense for one to, you know. So those are the things I've learned, and I think it makes good sense for me that I paid to be here to attend uh, to attend this seminar. Um, it makes good sense to receive training. Uh, I know many folks who have tried to do exports on their own without uh, going through training, without having the experience of being handheld through the process, and they have failed and failed miserably. The training one receives helps one to avoid those mistakes that people you know, experience when they embark on exports without going for training. So training is key. Olajide, and um, I'm from Oluti Engineering uh, International Limited. So we are a company that is into construction, environmental waste management, um, marine, and the likes. So we are looking at um, venturing into the exportation space, and that's the main reason why I'm here. So and being here since morning really has been a, a fantastic one from because I've I've been someone that personally I have a a flair for the exporting space. Be coming here since morning we've been able I've personally learned some you know products that move overseas where you can earn much more and also the process involved all the basic information you need to set up and also the role export and sell takes in terms of the mentorship the um the support system that export and sell has put in place to make uh, you know this possible so that among several other and as well i've networked i've met people you know from various spaces in the course of the conversations too i've discovered some of the challenges and frictions within the export space in nigeria and which also give us an opportunity to to contribute even on higher platform if you are privileged to be there tomorrow and what we can do to make exportation a bit easier you know for for nigerians and 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 her. so it's been a fantastic event and i would say it it's a worthwhile investment for my company what would you like to tell someone out there please yeah there's a lot of opportunity in the exporting space and there are frictions and from my own background as uh, an accountant as well as a management consultant the fact is when there are frictions it speaks to opportunities so there's a lot of opportunities in the exportation space so i will encourage people out there that are still thinking of maybe venturing into the exportation space particularly in nigeria to take action and export and sell is like a sure plug for that in Nigeria for me from 
some observation because the MD is well informed in that space and everything we're taught I don't think I've I've read even from my personal research I couldn't get much of that so and the relationship is will I say lifelong now so the the you you guys are willing to take us to from ground up to also start making millions of dollars so it's a great it's a great place thank you time I heard about it was on radio I was going to work and my radio was on and I was just listening I was just like oh I need to do something else apart from my salary I am the money is not enough any longer I am a civil servant I'm tired and that's how I heard about export and so it's been an eye-opener and something that um, I think everybody should try and get involved one way or the other we cannot rely on making money in Naira alone you need another source of income and I think it's an eye-opener very interesting and I'm very glad that I came